Did you, are you recording? Alaska moose hunting. The work starts. <laughs> Going to get a closer look at this dude. <laughs> All right, guys, there's two different types of hunts that you can go on when you're hunting moose in Alaska or otherwise, and that's a DIY do-it-yourself hunt with no guide or a fully guided, fully outfitted hunt. And there's two different, entirely different approaches that you're going to take on those hunts. You have to be physically fit for both of those hunts, but what separates those is if you're going on a guided hunt, Pretty much all you need to worry about is yourself. You need to worry about if you have the right personal gear, if you have the right rain gear, the right insulation, waders, and boots, and keeping yourself warm, making sure you have a nice comfortable pack, but nothing crazy. Because when you're going on a guided hunt, all of the rest of the legwork and the logistics is totally taken away from you and that's what you pay for to be on a guided hunt because your guides will have all the pack frames. They'll have all the equipment. They'll have everything set up so you don't have to worry about it. They'll take care of all of that. So what's really important if you're going on a guided hunt is that you make sure that you take yourself seriously and try to get yourself prepared as much as possible before you go on your hunt because it's a big investment and you need to make sure that you, you're doing the best you can to be ready so there's no excuses and you're just putting yourself in the best opportunity as possible a lot of questions i get from hunters is hey i'm not in the best of shape can i still go hunt moose and or maybe hey uh, my dad's 75 years old he's not really he can't move around quite as much or i'm i don't really work out very much i'm not you know i'm not really in good shape and every time my response is this yeah you can go hunt moose in any shape that you are in. Moose hunting is not, you don't have to be a sheep hunting, like outdoor Superman athlete to go hunt moose. But the better shape that you're in gives you the better opportunity on that hunt. So if you can hike a little bit farther and do that every day, well, that's going to put you in a better position every single day and potentially provide more opportunities on shooting the bull of your a bull of your dreams than it would if you said, well, man, I'm, I just didn't feel like getting in shape or I don't really want to walk that far. I, I moose hunting is not very physical, so I'm not going to get physically prepared for it. I don't have to pack it out. So I don't really need to worry about that. But when you're on a guided hunt, you really need to do yourself. It's working for yourself to get yourself in the best position possible to, to make it happen with the giant bull. So it, that's just something to consider when you're going on a guided hunt is it's all about you and getting yourself ready. And the guide's going to do the best he can to put you in the spot to be successful. And if you have yourself ready, the guide can put you in and he has more room to put you in any spot. He's got more freedom to take you into certain spots. He's going to do that so that you're successful. And, and most, I, I'll speak for most guides in Alaska is, they will work really, really hard for you. They'll do anything possible. They want to get that moose for you most of the time worse than you do. So Alaskan guides are the most elite guides there are. Alaskan guides know what it takes to get the animals and they are the best hunters and best planners and best overall people in the hunting world that I've come across. So do your best to be prepared for them on your guided hunt. See more complications involved with that. Because you're not only responsible for yourself and your fitness level to a way higher degree because you have to pack out the moose as well. You're responsible for all the gear being brought with you and around you. You need to take that seriously as well. So there's a lot more layers of planning to plan out the right gear. And that may or may not be provided with you. If you're doing it totally DIY, you're bringing everything. If you're going on an outfitted hunt, like a DIY outfitted drop camp hunt like I do with some guys, then we provide most of the gear, the camping gear, the cooking gear, all that equipment, but there's still a ton more gear that you as a DIY hunter would take versus a guy that comes on a guided hunt with us. So it's really important that you not only have your body in the right physical condition because you're going to be responsible for that moose, 
all 850 pounds of meat plus antlers and cape if you decide to take those out which you have to take the antlers out if you're a non-resident um so you're gonna have to make that pack you are also responsible with who's coming with you because most of the time diy hunts are not solo hunts i don't suggest a lot of solo moose hunts i suggest always having somebody with you from a safety standpoint but also from a workload standpoint it's very difficult to do a moose uh by yourself packing it out unless you kill it close to water or close to a landing zone so as a diy hunter your planning process for not only gear um, equipment clothing and fitness starts a year in advance of your moose hunt so again it's the same attitude that moose hunting kind of has this this uh, way this general attitude when people are moose hunting that they don't have to be in good shape that anybody can do it that's true but really if you kill a moose a mile away and you're not ready physically to carry a hundred to 150 pound hind quarter on your back for a mile and a half through swamp then you need to get yourself prepared to do that and if you're not prepared to do that you should question two things should you be going on a moose hunt alone or diy or with some buddies that have never been on a moose hunt and where you kill the moose if you do decide to go on a moose hunt and you're not at the best physical shape that you can be you need to be very very careful of where that moose dies there are 75 and 80 year old guys who go moose hunting by themselves every single year and they're successful and they nothing goes weird they get their meat out of there it's because they're patient and they know exactly what they're doing and they've planned everything out and they've done it before that does not apply to first time diy moose hunters that are out of shape and want to kill something in a swamp three miles away you're going to be in a bad situation if that happens so take your moose hunt seriously no you're not going to be on a backpack sheep hunt you're not going to be climbing up mountains every single day you're going to be eating a substantial amount of food typically but you still need to take everything seriously because just the nature of hunting in alaska requires you to be very physical you need to be able to lift a log up if you have to get it out of the way you need to be able to climb up a tree and cut some limbs down you need to be able to be able to pick and hold a moose leg up you need to be able to carry 150 pounds of a hind quarter you need to do a lot of these things that your everyday hunting in the whitetail woods or in the elk mountains really doesn't require you to do so all these things you you need to plan for when you're moose hunting it's just planning ahead having a strategy and getting prepared by the time you come out here because as we all know that when we prepare for a hunt those three weeks that we think we're going to be have time to get ready all of a sudden you got to take care of a lot of family stuff you got to take care of all your business stuff because you're going to be gone for three weeks and you don't have time to get in shape you don't have time to sight in your rifle you don't have time for all that so really you need to start planning on your hunt your your rifle sighting all that stuff in getting in shape well ahead of time so when those two weeks come before your hunt and you're slammed at work getting stuff done so that you can leave you know that you're you're already physically prepared you're already mentally prepared and you're doing the best you can and you're ready to come out on your hunt so that's the big difference guys when when you're moose hunting i see is uh diy versus guided is guided you have a responsibility to really put yourself in the best position to allow the guide to put yourself in the best physical position as possible and for a diy hunter you need to be able to start that process early and plan for it and really be extra extra careful where you shoot moose and put a lot more care into the physical preparation before you come out on a hunt and i touched on it a little bit with getting your rifle sight in or your bow sighted in but definitely do that well ahead of time have your rifles and stuff sighted in three months before you come on a hunt so you don't ever have to worry about it get your rifle sighted into 100 yards or 200 yards and leave it have it zeroed and have it ready don't try to do that two weeks before your hunt because the time that you need to prepare and, and spend time with family or business is is not going to allow you to do and prepare your rifle or your bow correctly so prepare it way ahead of time guys it'll save you in the long run and you'll have a lot more freedom and peace of mind when you come on your hunt so i hope that helps guys 
I hope wish you all the best of luck if you're moosehanging this year in the future, and we'll talk to you soon.